friends, my name is Dr. Erica. I am so excited that you are joining us for science. Today we have my sidekick, Georgia. She wanted to see if she could land on Mars as we are in our Exploring Mars unit as we celebrate Perseverance landing on Mars this week. We're super excited about it. Now landing on Mars is really tricky because we can't actually talk to what is landing at all. So it has to do it all on its own. It's called the seven minutes of terror because there's a point where it has to completely do it all the way automated and we won't know whether it's alive or dead on the surface for seven minutes after it has happened. So it either landed well or it didn't and it's sitting there either happily on the surface or completely crunched and then seven minutes later we find out what happened. And we have evolved the way we land over time. So in the beginning we actually just landed with a whole bunch of airbags and those airbags would sort of deploy and it would bounce really, really high. With Curiosity, that wasn't as much of an option because it had really sensitive equipment. We didn't want it to get bounced and banged around. And so we invented the Sky Crane, which is basically like a rocket backpack. And it would come down and it would have its boosters that would go to slow it down and then it would crane out from it. We also use parachutes as we land, but parachutes don't act the same way on Mars as they do here because Mars's atmosphere is really, really thin. So you fall a lot faster even with a parachute. So it doesn't slow you down all of the way. Now, today we are going to test our engineering skills as we land on Mars. We are gonna be the marshmallows, that's gonna be us, and, or our rover, I guess. And then our rocket ship that's landing is gonna either be a plastic cup or a paper cup. The size of the cup will change how easy or hard the problem is. And the goal is going to be to be able to drop your cup with the marshmallow in it, and it's going to drop whatever you engineer around here is going to allow it to land gently, no lids, with your marshmallow in. Again, no lids allowed. All right, so you can't just tape your marshmallow in and that is your landing. It's got to have some sort of whatever it is, the top is open, you're just going to drop it, and like right now, ooh, that's not so great. My rover would not be very happy, even from a tiny drop. And we, are, we also have some popsicle sticks. You might have straws or toothpicks that you can also use for this. And then everything is going to be attached by tape. Question. Can I have a pen? I want to draw oh. my penis. Georgia's going to grab a pen. If you're going to actually draw on it, you can eat this one, Georgia, but use edible markers, my friends at home. Ooh, All right. Oh. So the size of the cup is going to make it easier or harder. A really small cup is probably going to be... Ooh, actually, maybe it's a little easier. Maybe the big cups are because that one definitely goes a little crazy. And the goal would be to just engineer a way for it to survive. If it survives, try from a taller height and see can you make it survive from a taller height. I'm going to take this harder one. Georgia, you take that one. It's a little bit easier. And then we got to figure out how are we going to do it. So make a plan. You can draw your plan out or not. I'm thinking I want some sort of legs. I'm also thinking I don't want things really rigid. I want things to be able to sort of move and flex, which is kind of hard when you have wood, but by using tape, maybe that will help. So I'm thinking I want to maybe put some legs and maybe my legs are gonna be taped on maybe like a triangle here. That could work. Oh, maybe to get the same height and stuff, I just put them up here. I kind of like that idea. So I'm going to just tape my legs on. I'm going to tape mine down. Yeah, Georgia, you can tape yours. We can cut legs if we need to. All right. There's no lids, but you can Oops. also do this. There we go. Oh, but you know what? I want my legs to hit first, maybe, I think. Well, maybe I want some to hit, and then maybe I want some to also be, like, the end being of, like, stability. That could work really well, too, for me. Now, George is building over her marshmallow. That's totally fine because she's not building an actual lid as long as there's open space up there. That's fine. But we can also cut these popsicle sticks in half. Yeah, that would be to. awesome. So Georgia would like some help cutting, and that's totally fine. Hang on one second, Georgia. All right. Oh, she's got it. Nice. Let me know if you need a little help with that. Oh, I like it. It worked. How about I cut one and I'll hold both sides for you too. <laughs> that way, one side. Oops. We're just gonna lose one each time. 
Oops, maybe Evan just returns them all. Here, let's see if I cut it into my cup. She's got a smaller cup, so oops, those definitely make sense. But, all right, here are some half sticks for you. I'm getting some stability going this way, but not very much stability going that way. So maybe I do the same type of thing over on here, like this. Now this is all just checking it out and trying. There's no right or wrong answer. The goal is gonna be to fail and get back up and make it better, all right? Failure is a part of the process. Every good engineer fails a lot, all right? That's just part of what engineering is. Is there a hot glue gun? We don't have hot glue, we got lots of tape. Part of the project of this one is using tape. There's some tape for you if you need it. All right, so I'm doing some side-to-side -side actions here. This is like all rule. Ooh. Can't make it fail. Oh, I'm sure you can. What problem are you having? Let's see. Look, it's but, all like this. And I want it to be like sideways. Uh -huh. Like that. And it just oh, and then it flips in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so George is having a little problem. She wants like it to come out wobbly. this way. It's also really wobbly. And then once, you're, you don't like that it comes like down. Yeah. Mm, I have an idea for you. So this is what engineering is all about, right, Georgia? As we figure things out. So I liked what you did. You taped this guy here just like that. Oh, you know what, Georgia? I'm noticing if I tape it so it's right under the lid, that seems to work so it's out to the side. If, like, the, it ends in that lid piece, that lip. It, oh, and I, I was also doing it this part. Oh, okay, well, we found something out. We'll try that. You can see, and I used a skinny piece. Mm. Well, let's see if you can try and all, all, maybe put four, and then maybe you tape those four together. Maybe that's helpful. Who knows? Whoa, oh, one of my sticks just came off. I'm gonna have to stick that back in. Like that. All right, this is much more stable than it was. I've got a whole bunch of sticks coming out. I see a hole right here, which I don't really like. I'm wondering if I can somehow get another triangle of sticks so that sort of out. Some of them go out that direction too. All right, like that. Oh, it's still flipping over on me. That's okay. So I just need something else as well. But do you see that you, none of yours is touching the ground? Yeah, some of them are touching, that's right, and some of them aren't. So it's a really this, good only point. this one is touching. Well, there's one over here. You're right, I only have two that are touching the ground. That's kind of a problem. I agree. I agree. Hmm. Maybe I add some side pieces. Ooh, that's looking good. So maybe... But yours is wobbly. I know, mine is wobbly, but what if we add some tape that sort of goes like this now? Might be less wobbly. Maybe like that. But now it doesn't touch. Now it doesn't ground. touch. There it goes. There we go. Now this one's the one that's wobbly. Yeah. yeah, we might always have something that's wobbly. And in fact, I'm thinking about some of mine, Georgia. I'm thinking I might take a big piece of tape. A big piece of tape. I'm thinking I might, because you had a really good observation that nothing is really touching the ground. What if I tape some more of these down so that they were like more where I wanted them to be? I'm not sure if this will work, but maybe that gives it a little extra. But you want to fail. You want I want to fail. fail so I can learn and then hopefully in the end I succeed. Let's see if that tape helps. <gasps> that did just that one piece of tape has let me land. Georgia, thank you so much for telling me that you noticed that just one or two legs were hitting it because now adding that tape to make more legs touch, just that one piece of tape fixed it. It's not flipping over. Let's see how high. Oh, but now that was too much. My guy popped out. It's still landing straight up and down, but I need to absorb a little bit more of the energy. That's okay. high. Hmm. I like this plan. Yours is looking pretty fantastic. Let's see, if you want to absorb more energy, you want to basically engineer it to break or engineer parts to break. I'm wondering if I take some tape 
I could crumble my tape up and maybe add it to the ends of these. And maybe that would absorb some of that higher fall. I would have like little tapey end legs. That could absorb some of the fall from a higher height, which could be just what I need to keep that marshmallow inside as I drop it from higher. So you'll notice, I'm like, each time I'm making improvements, sometimes it works. It works, but this one just flipped over. Well, you know what? If it works, it works, though. Right? Yeah. There's no gonna, right or wrong. I'm just going to um, help that so it doesn't flip over again. I like that plan. That's a good plan. All right. So we'll stick this guy on here. Like this. We got lots of tape going on here. And that's okay. Whoa. I know. I've got these little teeny legs now. I'm hoping that that helps me drop it from higher and it sort of absorbs some of that shock. Oh. This is looking good. Oh, I don't think we should flip it in there. Oopsies. This guy here. Ooh, that looks great. Oh, this is looking really good. I'm adding these. Georgia, if you find that sometimes it like I flips need more. A parachute. Yeah, you might ooh, a parachute's a great idea. I love that. But how are we gonna make a parachute out of just all we've got is these uh Because I know how to. Okay. She's got a plan. And I did But I might use more than this much tape. Alright, here we go. Oh, see now my guy is really happy. Look at that. So the the addition of some tape on these legs really helped with my engineering. Now this is fun because Georgia can keep on working. She can be happy where she's at. She can challenge herself more. I've got something that I'm pretty happy with. Notice how we had to revise. We had to edit. We had to find different ways of taping it, different ways of putting them on together. Sometimes we can help each other. Like Georgia noticed that just a few legs were touching and that was maybe why it was tipping. I was able to help her find a new way to tape those legs on. And these are really important things as we turn ourselves into engineers you see so that, that we can work together. You really need the parachute. You need a parachute. I'm really excited to see where Georgia's goes. And I can't wait to see where your guys' goes too. And I hope that you guys are able to make your marshmallow survive from a really tall height. Thank you guys so much for joining us as we land on Mars today and celebrate perseverance. You can always check us out at patreon.com slash rosyresearch and make sure that you check out our YouTube channel and you can subscribe so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you later.